So hey everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Colouring Arts and Crafts. So today I've got a bit of a book unboxing for you. This is the Fairy Loot Queen of Nothing book box. I can't really show you the label on the top just because um, the post office has stuck labels over that. Um, so yeah, um, but yeah, I thought I would just um, do a quick unboxing of this. You may notice I've got one of the items out of there, that's because I was checking it and I couldn't get it to fit back in because I took the picture for things. So this is um, the blanket that came with the Fairy Loot Queen of Nothing box. So I'm actually not going to pull that out here just because it is very large and I will show you a picture that I will um, insert. Um, well I might as well insert it here and I'll just um, insert that here um, first things first so um, bear in mind I do have the thing at the end of my bed for when my ankles and stuff are bad so that did kind of get a bit in the way of the picture but yeah so I'll insert that here and so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to shift this um, yeah, for some, my ankle, they think that maybe it's just ligamentous laxity or something with my wrist and that, so I'm going to just try resting it for a few weeks and hopefully it'll improve. So, um, colouring videos I'll be using are just ones that I've already recorded. Meantime, same for art things. So, I'm just going to try and do this one-handed because I got my hand in the sling and I just took some painkillers to try and deal with that um yeah I'm hoping it'll get better by doing this so can only try anyway so I'm just gonna open this and you will notice it does have the hollow because I didn't um because I have removed that so it is a green green fairy loot box and you will notice here too we got our spoiler card so this is the Collaboration with Holly Black, the Queen of Nothing box, Collector's Edition by Fairy Loot. So I'll just make sure that's properly focused. And we've got our spoiler card here. And um, <laughs> it's different to usual. It's got these pretty black squiggles. And I think I actually prefer the Fairy Loot Special Edition boxes compared to... Um, their regular monthly boxes but obviously the special editions cost more so you can't actually properly compare that. So first thing that we've got here is, um, hang on, let me just move this, is a ceramic mug Queen of Nothing Collector's Edition box and from what I know I think they had to approve all of these with Holly Black so I'm just going to shift this off the table quickly. and get that focused down here and I'm going to open up our ceramic mug I'm gonna have to do this try and do this one-handed if I can and I love the, the box on it it's very whimsical woodsy earthy kind of theme and then We've got our mug here, so I'll just um, shift this bit to the side. And so our mug here, and I'll just try focusing this, is um, based around the Cruel Prince, or I don't know, it's Queen of Nothing. It's one of those, I haven't actually read the books yet, but... I fully intend to and it's actually really pretty let's just check oh. try showing you the full thing so we've got some whimsical glowing parts and it looks like swords and yeah and then inside from what I know we got an acorn which is awesome 
just use that again to get it focused. And then next item that I pick up here is a book sleeve, I think, pretty certain it is. So I think I like very loose book sleeves with this new fabric as much as I like Illumina crates, but Illumina crates, I do love the leathery feel of them. And these are sort of more fabric. Uh, well, Illumina crates are fabric too, but these don't have the leathery feel that Illumina crates have. So this is a book sleeve that says, if I cannot be better than them, I will become much worse. Holly Black. And I love the, the little pomegranates and raspberries and the frogs and the acorns and the I think it's bees, apple, yeah these pomegranates, cool, and all the leaves and stuff, it's just, it's really really pretty and awesome and I'm very happy to have this and obviously I will use it um, with time, um, I just need some that fit my really thick books but it'll happen when it happens. Um, Maybe I'll have to make one one day to fit my really thick books, but obviously that won't be right now, so. <laughs> but yeah, I'll get there. But yeah, I really love the image on this one. It is um, repeated image on both sides, which is really nice. It is quite padded as well. And you'll notice at the top it does have the zipper. That is one thing that I found different with Illumina Crates to Fairy Loots is the fact I think it's almost like while the zippers are useful, um, I find I think the book tends to catch more when you've got the zipper there. So I find for the catching side of things, Illumina Crates is slightly better because it doesn't have the, the zip on there as much. I've sort of tried between the zip and not the zip and whilst the zip is useful um, yeah I find the one without the zip seems to not catch as much on the zip as you get in the books in and out which hence hence you aren't as liable to damage the books as you go I've found but they're still really nice and really awesome to have and I'm sure they'll be very useful anyway I'm sure they will The next thing I've got here, ah, I'm getting itchy. <laughs> is a enamel pin designed by um, Dustin Pages, which is licensed by Holly Black, and. This is the Queen of Nothing Collector's Edition enamel pin. It's based on the Folk of Air series, as it says. And it says, I left my heart in Alf Elfheim. Just so you don't have the reflection on it. But always nice to have the pins. And I'll just move that over. got here is Queen of Nothing Collector's Edition wooden bookmark. So I think you should be able to see this one from down here, I hope. And I've basically just opened these up just to make it easier but also just to check that everything was in there first before I did this unboxing. And obviously these are all licensed by Holly Black as we've done it. And so this is a, I'm just going to check you can see it properly. I might bring it up closer because you can't see much of it. Let's just see. Uh, it won't focus on it, will it? No. Let's just use this to get it to focus in. There we go. So we've got here, this is a wood mark, it says 
If you're the sickness, I suppose you can't be the cure. Holly Black. And then on the other side, I think this is meant to be Carden. Um, I haven't actually read the books yet, but... Yeah, very awesome to have. It's surprisingly thin too. <laughs> so I said I hope they don't break too easily or anything if you use them. I don't know if I'd be game to use them just because of the fact that I wouldn't want to risk breaking the, the wood mark, but they're still nice and... Um, yeah, I'm guessing they probably don't break as easily as I'm thinking because obviously a lot of people use them these days and have them, so... Yeah. Um, it'll probably just go in my special bookmarks pins. <laughs> I have no doubt. And then the last thing I've got before the book is, um, from what I know, it's a Jude and Carden print. I think it is... Merwild and Co, is it? Um, I just need to check. I'll just make sure I'm focused on there. Sorry. So, yeah, Merwild and Co art print. Uh, Jude and Carden. So, <laughs> very awesome to have. Um, I'm sure I will appreciate these more once I get to read the books, but I'm waiting for Yearloom yeah, Crate and Fairy Loot are the two books to come out so then I can read them all in a row kind of thing. I am because I'm looking forward to that. And then finally the last thing we got in here is our book. This does come in the original Fairy Loot bag. And <laughs> As you can see, it has gorgeous sprayed edges. I hope it's not, might be a little bright. There, let's just try adjusting the lighting a bit. But yeah, we got these gorgeous stenciled edges with a snake. Which is beautiful. And then hang on, I'm just gonna sit it down here and focus it. And we'll just zoom out slightly so you can see it. But so we got this gorgeous um, fairy loot edition of The Queen of Nothing. Um, from what I know, they're releasing the other two in this set in these covers I think sometime early January or whatever but I think getting this gave you access to those editions early I think it was um, obviously we've got these gorgeous patterns and I don't know I know some people don't like it but me I actually really like the way they've done the patterns on this maybe that's my creative brain <laughs> I don't know but I just, I really love the colour combos, the foiled snake, the crowns, the triangles and the berries and yeah that's just, it's gorgeous in my opinion. And then it's the same on the back as well. So yeah, I'm very happy with this edition. I love both the Illuminacrate and the Fairy Loot edition. So. And I have stuck this in already. This is the Queen of Nothing um, book plate that came with the Fairy Loot edition. So it's a signed limited edition book plate. And I love the green and red themes. And then we got our exclusive limited edition Queen of Nothing book page. It's the first edition of this book type. For Leah Bardugo, who never lets me get away with anything. And then inside we've got a map of the world. Um, like what was in the Cruel Prince one from Illuminacrate. It looks like she might have this book one with a little quote or poem or something in each of the, the original books. And then we've got this gorgeous prologue with the, some images in there. And yeah, I'm... I'm really happy with it. I really 
am so glad that I got this. I really hope you've enjoyed this unboxing slash, well, it's not really a review, but this unboxing. <laughs> I'm really happy to have it. I really appreciate it so much and I'm so, so glad to have this edition. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you. Um, I'll be doing my best to edit. Um, and finally, as for with the colouring videos, I do have a heat pre-recorded. I will probably do my best to edit that with my left hand and get them uploading. And you'll probably also see a lot more book reviews in the coming weeks just because I'm going to be trying to rest my hand as much as possible. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed these. I hope you'll enjoy the mix of colouring videos and book reviews and stuff that's to come, as well as unboxings or any of that, or book hauls. And yeah, I will see you next time.